Okay guys, we're gonna talk about the pathogenesis of hepatitis B. Hepatitis B. Hepatitis what? B. So what, <clears throat> what does the virus do? What pathological changes does this particular virus bring us about in the body? When it gets access to the body, what does it do? That's what we're gonna talk about right now. Okay. Uh, we know that what every pathological condition starts from what the cellular level, guys. It starts from the cellular level. It affects one cell, then it starts what progressing to the other cells. You understand? All right. And right now we're talking about what hepatitis. Hepatitis means hepa means liver, liver, and itis means what inflammation. It's simple. That means hepatitis means what. Inflammation of the liver caused by what? A type B type of what hepatitis B virus. You understand? Yeah. Okay now. <clears throat> All the what the pathological changes that we see as a result of what the inflammation of the liver caused by this virus are due to what? Immune reaction. They are immune mediated uh, processes. You understand? That is why you find out that what? Patients who are chronic or patients who have what immune tolerance to this particular virus, they, they have what low histological what activities. We are coming to that in a matter of seconds. But now let's talk about what the pathogenesis in deep. All right now, like we said, like I told you, uh, the pathological changes that takes place is due to what immune what response. And if you can remember, we have what two types of human response in the human body. We have what the Shimura as well as what the cell mediated immune what response so what role does each of these particular type of immune response play in the pathogenesis of what hepatitis okay first of all <clears throat> the humoral immune response is responsible for what viral clearance guys viral clearance as well as what preventing Preventing what the virus from spreading in inside the host, which is human beings. Okay, now the humoral immune response. You understand what it does is that what it brings about what uh, virus the, the clearance of the virus from the body, and it prevents what the spreading of the virus. Uh, affecting other part of the body as we as we all know that what this particular virus primarily it affects the liver so what the humoral immune response would do is to try to uh, prevent the virus from leaving the liver and at the same time try to kill or clear out what the virus from the body you understand okay so what is now the role of what this, the uh, the cell mediated immune response the cell mediated immune response it what it carry out the, the role of eliminating the virus completely from the body you understand that are the one the two things i want you to have it in, in mind before we go deeply into the pathogenesis okay now once this particular for that is big virus gain access to the body it goes straight to the liver guys when it goes straight to the liver it binds it, on, on this, it binds what we call unknown receptors. You understand? On the surface of the, of the hepatocyte, there are some unknown, unknown receptors there, guys. So this hepatitis B virus comes in and settles on that unknown receptors. And then, and then uh, when it settles on the unknown receptors on the hepatocytes, you understand? Now, in the process of endocytosis, now this virus now get an entrance into the cytoplasm of the hepatocyte guys you understand so inside the cytoplasm of the hepatocyte it start with multi, it start with uh, replicating it start replicating it start replicating guys but the body is not going to stand there you understand immediately the, the virus get an entrance you understand into the body you understand there's going to be a what the body is going to respond the body is going to respond and the body responds by releasing what we call viral specific what cytokines 
We call them virus. It's called virus specific cytokines, guys. Okay now, what is now the roles of this virus specific cytokines? Now, these virus specific cytokines, they are like what? They are like little perfumes, you understand? What they do is, is that what? They attract what? T lymphocyte to the side of what? The action side, which is what? The liver. They attract what? T lymphocyte to the what? To the liver, guys, you understand? And the specific type of T lymphocyte that are really what? Attracted to the liver. They are known as what? Cytotoxic what? They are called cyto. Cytotoxic or T lymphocyte, guys. Cytotoxic T lymphocyte, abbreviated as what? CTL. You understand? So the, the virus specific cytokines attract what? Cytotoxic T lymphocyte to do what? To the liver. You understand? So once this particular cytotoxic lymphocyte, T lymphocyte comes, they start what? Releasing what? Uh, Cytotoxic substances, you understand? In in order to, to eliminate it or to kill the virus, you understand? So, as a result of them trying to kill the virus, you understand? They now uh, start what, uh, destroying the hepatocyte in the process. They are trying to save the body, you understand? But in the process, they are also trying to they are also destroying what the the, what, the hepatocyte, you understand? So once the hepatocyte are destroyed, what happens? You understand? They start what, releasing their what their enzymes. You understand? The enzyme found in the liver, you understand? In the hepatocyte that makes up the liver, start what they are due to what the increase in what the plasma permeability. That's the plasma liver, you understand? The cell membrane. There's going to be an increase in the permeability of the cell membrane, and that increase in the permeability of the cell membrane will now lead to what the release of what the what the enzyme which are found in the liver. And what are those enzymes? You know, those we have. We have the ASTs and what the ALT. But the ALT is what is a uh, is, is very very specific to the liver. You understand? The AS, the ALT is very very what specific to the liver and also what a uh, very high indicator. Do you know what uh, a condition of hepatitis, guys? Uh, okay, now what happens then? Once once the once what once the uh, the liver start what uh, releasing its enzymes, understand? Now that particular point is the is is what is referred to as what the acute hepatitis. The acute what hepatitis B, understand? And the development of this particular acute hepatitis B is what due to what necroinflammatory damage to do what to the hepatocyte. Like we've said, the, the, the cytotoxic T lymphocyte will come and as they will start releasing what, what uh, cytotoxic substances, you understand? And those cytotoxic substances, they will be destroying the virus and at the same time destroying what? The hepatocyte. And as a result of that, this hepatocyte are undergoing what? Cellular damage, hepatocellular what? Damage, you understand? So therefore, the, the body response, you understand? By releasing what? Virus specific cytokines. And this virus specific cytokines now attract what cytotoxic what T lymphocyte to the, one, to the side of the action, which is the liver. Understand? And as a result of that, this cytotoxic T lymphocyte now will start releasing what cytotoxic substances. And the cytotoxic substances now cause now, 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 now bring about what hepatocellular what, damage. And once there is hepatocellular damage, you experience an increase. In the, what, in the serum concentration of what the transaminase, you understand the enzymes which are found in the liver. We have aspartic transaminase (AST) and what alanine transaminase. So once that happens, you get to understand that what you uh, 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 there, there's going to be what a morphological change in the liver, in the hepatocyte, because the, the integrity of the cell membrane is, is what is being uh, is, is compromised. The integrity of the cell membrane is what is compromised due to what immune response. You understand what I'm saying? 